So, we decided to cook again. Yeah. We made the uh, ooey gooey toffee cake last time. If you guys want to see that one, we will link it right up here. And now, we're going to make one of our favorite things... Probably my favorite. Savory food. Yes, one of probably one of my fa my favorite savory foods from Animal Kingdom. Cheeseburger pods. Yes. If you don't know what a cheeseburger pod is, you need to go to Satuli Canteen. Yes. So either at Satuli Canteen inside the Pandora area inside Animal Kingdom, um, they're steamed uh, like they're kind of they taste kind of like Big Macs in a bow bun, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're my favorite They're so entree. like fluffy and delicious. I have them in several videos because I get them every time. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, yeah, Sam. Let's go try these out. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Um, we're going to start cooking a little bit more on the channel. And you can see all the different theme park foods that we try out too if you want to subscribe to us. Hope you guys like the video. Let's try this out. All right, so we got this recipe from Disney Food Blog again. And we're big fans of Disney Food Blog. And also, there are other recipes for this that where you make your own dough. Ooh. We're using um, like refrigerated, like the biscuits. Okay, so we're not gonna make our own dough. We're just gonna use the biscuits. We're very short on time. Yes, it's a little bit quicker. This we'll see how it comes out uses, this way. Yeah, the biscuits. So we're just gonna roll them out. And if it doesn't come out as good, we'll know because we've had the real ones before, and we'll have to try making our own maybe. A different oh, yeah. time but let's see how it starts uh, or how it is with the uh, pre-made biscuits all right Sam so what are the ingredients that we're gonna need to make our bao buns okay so the base is going to be one pound of lean ground beef half a cup of ketchup two tablespoons of yellow mustard four tablespoons of dill pickle relish and it says do not use sweet relish one teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, I gotta take that out, and then three cans of plain biscuits, not flaky or grand style. So these are the plain ones. Yes. I'm guessing the other ones would rise and yeah. too much and be too big for what we're doing. We just want like the plain dough. Nice, and then here's our meat. Here's our beef, so we're gonna get to browning the meat. All right, well, let's do this. Cut it up. Just so you guys know, you will need this steamer insert. And or a can... steamer basket. Yes. And we've actually never used this before. Yeah. So we'll see how that works. Depending on the size of your pot and the size of your insert will determine how much water you put in. I put in about an inch. And mm -hmm. also you're going to need parchment paper. These are going to put that down so that they don't stick to the steamer. Yes, but that is when we start cooking our pods. Now we're just going gonna... we to brown this meat up. Ooh, we're gonna sizzle. So Sam, will you just put in the... I seasoned the ground beef with the onion powder. Yeah, I think we put in a little late. Um, yeah, that's all right. Okay. We, this is still cooking. Now we're going to add in the ketchup, okay, mustard, so... and relish. All right, let's go get it. All right, so there's our ketchup. I got you following me. I'm add them. That sizzle looks good. What is this, Sam? Dill relish. Dill relish, not sweet relish. Okay, the pickles. And then our yellow mustard. There's a little, little zang, I guess. Surprised there's no mayonnaise in it. It kind of tastes like a. It usually tastes like a Big Mac to me, but no mayonnaise. Hmm. Ooh. I already like, it already smells like. It smells very good. Like a cheeseburger. All right, so after you have it properly and fully mixed. You let it simmer for two minutes, and then we're gonna turn off the heat and add in the shredded cheese. My favorite part. <laughs> I like cheese. It smells really, I feel like I could just eat the mixture and be happy. Yeah, well. <laughs> I know that's you know, not the point of what we're doing, but. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's kind of just like a ground up hamburger. So, 
Looks good. Here's our cup of a shredded cheddar. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's coming together. <laughs> All right, Sam's washing the dishes, and she has left me to mix the cheese. So if there are any issues with cheese mixing, they're my fault. But I think I'm doing a good job. This looks good. Sam's definitely the better cook out of the two of us. A more seasoned cook. I'm gonna make some okay sandwiches, but I'm excited to try these out. <laughs> Just so you know, when you mix this, I don't think you add any heat, right, Sam? Right, it's turned off at this point when you add the. Yes, heat. so the heat is off right now. And, um. It'll, it'll melt on its own. It's warm enough. Yes, it's warm enough. I think we're ready. Maybe start putting these in little bow buns. So while Sam was cooking that meat up, I popped the biscuits open. I started rolling them up. Let's take a look at them. They're supposed to be, I think the size are a little smaller, a little smaller than, your, than palm. your palm. So, I mean, I don't have, I mean, I feel like if you have a giant palm, maybe a little bit smaller than that, but I don't have a very big palm, so I think it's about the right size. A few maybe a little bigger than the other ones. Now let's throw some things in here. For easier access, Sam is transferring it over to a bowl. Okay, so we're gonna put one to two tablespoons of our little cheeseburger mixture into here. You don't wanna do too much because then it will open up while it's cooking and kind of spill out, which, I mean, I'm sure it will still taste good, but it'll be kind of messy. I think one is enough. I think if we do two. Maybe I think... a little bit more, because remember the, the, the bun is gonna get bigger too. I know, too. we also gotta close this though. We mm -hmm. have to be able to close yeah, it. I think and maybe also I, I had cut out some parchment circles to put underneath them. Apparently I need to go back to like kindergarten because my circles look terrible. No, they're better than my circles, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so we're gonna, let me just finish right. adding the meat. So now and we add our one to two tablespoons per little bun. I feel more comfortable adding one, to be honest. Yeah. I know you like a meaty, but I feel just like- just feel like just a little, just a tiny bit more, you know? Because remember, it's gonna grow and then it might become too bunny, you know? But I trust you. Oh, here comes the artistic part. I feel like this is probably the hardest part, oh gosh, of this whole thing. So you gotta just, like, I think you do a little pinch, right, Sam? Well, yeah, gosh. Comes together. Yeah, stretch out those I ends a little no bit I have no idea more. what I'm doing, by the way. Yeah, st stretch them out. Well, I... It's just stretch it. I didn't make them big enough. That's my fault. So you Why got... are you closing them that way? Does it supposed to be like a little pinch? I thought it closed. Like a taco? Like, no. We, oh, and then you bring the sides up, okay. the whole thing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is hard. Can I try? <laughs> Can I at least try okay. to do one? You pinch yeah. it at the top after it's all... Yes, and you do like a little Aww, twist. Oh, look at these. This is like a little baby. Yeah. Do the twist. I think it's cute. Yeah, it's good. I get what they say about it sticking, and that's why... And that dough's going to rise. Also, so I'm going to put it on the parchment paper, so it's... It looks cute. All right. Well, one down, a <laughs> lot more to go. I'm going to try my hand at So this. I think that you think you're going to do it better than no, I did. I don't you think seem that. determined. Wait till you feel how hard it is. Got to stretch it out a little bit more. Yeah, it, it was, this is partially my fault because I did not make these things large enough. Well, it said... It said smaller than their palm. Maybe they were thinking people with big palms. You know, maybe they just didn't want to, you know. All right, so now I got it all together and I do my little twist. twist. A little pinch twist. A little pinch. Do the twist. And even if our bow buns are not beautiful, I'm sure they will still taste delicious. Yes. All right, so we put that on this little paper. I, don't, I didn't get that sweet twist you got. It's definitely doughy at the Also, top. like, this makes a lot. Like, we've only opened one can already. Yeah, no, we were, we're not going to be able to eat all this. Yeah. We're not even going to be home the next 36 pound buns. I don't think we, like, thought this through. Yeah, no, we're making I think a maybe lot we'll more. save the mixture. Maybe we can give some away. I don't know. Yeah, maybe save the mixture. I really think saving the mixture and then yeah. just using it at a later date would be the best bet. We're going to be eating, Ooh. we're going to be eating bow buns for a long time. Cheeseburger I pods. Good. I feel like also if you have like a those one of those bamboo steamers, I think yes. that's like the perfect thing to hook these in. Did they say that in the recipe? It doesn't say it in this one, but 
I just feel like that's what those things are made for. I'm getting the hang of this now. Like a bow bun mask. The thing we have is more, maybe you can go work in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> I can live with the animal, in the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> the steamer insert that we have, I think, is more for, like, vegetables. We'll We're see. out of these little... Parchment, you want parchment. me to cut some more circles? If you want. It's up to you. We need them. All right, so now that we have all of our little bow buns and our burgers set up... We're boiling the water. Yes. Then I'm going to insert the little steamer piece. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to put some in the pan and you said do not overcrowd them. And ours is pretty small, so we can probably only cook a few at a time. Anyway. Yes, yes. I think we're going to save the mixture and the other ones that we yeah, got. So a lot. we'll link the recipe in here, probably in the description. But just so you know, it does make a lot. Yeah. So we're only going to make like well, it makes a third of it. 36 because yes. it's three cans. We're not eating 36 bao buns. Only in my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the water simmering. Boiling. Boiling? Well, about to boil. Right now it's simmering. And Sam, you oh, tied this. Yeah, so you have to cover it after you put them in. So I wrapped our lid in a towel. Towel. I don't know why. Because you don't want the water to I, drop. Yeah, I don't want the it. It's going to create so much moisture. And I don't want it to drip and then like make the. So the towel will capture the moisture and prevent them from getting wet because they're not supposed to get wet. That's so. my hope. Yes, here's a little tip for everyone. And there's our, what's it called, this thing called again? It's like a steamer. Our steamer? Insert. It's right. really made for like vegetables. And we actually, we inherited this from my dad. Yes. And when we were going through his stuff, we actually didn't know what this was. And, so yeah. like, well, and we were like, oh wow, we, we need can that make for, this. Yeah, because yeah. we've seen the recipe before and we're like, oh, we don't have a steamer a piece. And now we do. Now we do. So thank you, dad. Yes, thank you, Tim. And yeah, let's let's see how these things turn out. One of the issues we're having right now is we're not sure exactly how much water should well, be in Well, you don't want here. too much because you don't want this yes. to be wet. Yes. But it's it seems to like it may be boiling into the thing slightly. I don't know. I think it's about ready. All right, so we start putting them in. Let's do it up. All right. Sam is transferring the bow buns. Not supposed to crowd them. I think I'm gonna just do four at a time. Yeah, I think that's. that's I don't want to. That sounds good. Oh. Okay, so there's four. Okay. All right, and now let's cover them up. And it said, I think, 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes. I'm not gonna wait 15 minutes. <laughs> I, this is interesting to me. I feel like I want to try it. Honestly, I I don't think it can be bad. It's right? Like, it's filled with cheese. The only thing that's strange to me maybe is the mustard, but I mean, mustard on a burger isn't the worst thing. It's a southern thing, I think, right? It wasn't that much mustard. Skip the buns, just eat the filling. No, it's good. <laughs> It's like hamburger helper without the... If you're keto, then you would just do this step. No. And not continue with the dough. It's not bad. I'm also very hungry. It's not bad. <laughs> Hopefully the buns are better. I think Sam liked the mixture more than me. I did. I like it. Mm. I want to see how it tastes with the bao bun. But you were like a little impressed with this mixture. I wouldn't like to just eat this and be <laughs> perfectly. Honestly, right now I could probably just eat that and be content too. That's so good. Yeah. Okay. Our timer went off. Yes, it's been 15 minutes. Well, let's see how these... I think they look... I think they look pretty solid. They look like the picture. Yeah. And you want to take one out? Should I use this? I think we could have put maybe one more in there. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, so I guess next time we maybe we could use big for five. I mean, it needs to go in longer. I mean, maybe it's a good. little deli. Hmm. Maybe. No, I think if it cools down, it'll be okay. I think they're good. It's our soggy mixture. Mm. Alright. Let's get the next batch in. This one we crowded a little bit because there are only six left, but if we feel like we made any mistakes with the first batch, we'll try to correct it with this one. Top. 
All right, so this was after 15 minutes. They're definitely smaller than they are in the park. So like, but they said, you know, size your hand when you make them. But if you look like that's how it looks when it's in the park. They are bigger. Yes. Um, and you know, so let's see how they taste. A little soggy at the bottom. You don't seem that impressed. I'm trying to think of how it tastes in the park. I like it a lot, but I think we need more meat. Really? Yeah, look, very much a lot of dough here. I should have, when I made them, put more right, dough well, at the bottom. This is a, there's a learning. But they're very good. There, they're very there's good. a learning curve. Yes, so this. for you watching it at home. Use more meat. Yes. You put a little bit more meat and probably see like I put a lot of twist at the top, maybe a little less twist at the top. So that way you have a little bit more base down here. I'm still giving that a nine. I still think it's really good. It tastes almost like I was in the park, so. The lack of meat actually kind of grew on me. Yes, I feel like the bun is good. In the park, I give those mm. a 10, right? It's very good. I think it does taste like the park. You're right about the size, but... So you agree with me about the meat, though? Could use a little bit more meat. It could, but I, the taste, I feel like it's pretty, like, spot on to me. Yeah, no, the taste, yeah. I agree with that. Mm. And we didn't have to make our own bao buns. We just bought the... But I do think we should do another video. Where we make the bao where bun. we make the dough. There's also, there's different, I've seen different variations of the recipe. One where there's actual, like, cut up pickles inside, Ooh. which I think would be good. Yes. So we'll, we'll test out different... Different recipes for this. Con recipes. I consider this a success, though. But this is very good. Yes. What would you give it? One out of ten. Parks, I give a ten. This, I give a nine. I want to give it a ten. just because it was so easy. Yeah, it wasn't hard. And we just made it at home quick. Yeah, no. With we made a little bit too much. With not yeah. that many ingredients. So yes. I kind of, I dig this. Number ten. All, All right. right. These are our second batch. We put six in. I think that was doable. Yeah, six looks looks about right. Um, Again, the bottom got a little soggy, but um, think a little hard up. Actually, I think this one right here on the corner actually looks the best. Oop, got some fog on the lens. Sam is putting them on the plate. Oh. All right, another success, yes. right? Yes, I think it was a huge success. Yeah, I think it, we did really good. It didn't look the prettiest, but they tasted so good. They really did. Um, and the more I ate it, the more I was like, yeah, this does taste like the park, just like a smaller version of it. So uh, we'll definitely link the recipe in the description. So if you want to try to make it out, you can follow along with us. <laughs> As we attempted, I, I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, maybe so, maybe we'll pick up a steamer, the bamboo basket. Yes. Maybe we'll try them using our own dough that we make. Yes. See how make them a little bigger maybe next time. Yeah, so, now we know for next time. You live and learn, right? Yeah. So again, if you enjoyed watching this, like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch me. Appreciate everyone that's that uh, likes the channel and likes the video. And if you've never had Satouli Canteen, Go. please try it. Yes. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> That's very serious. I know. We got to spend a day in Animal Kingdom at our house. <laughs> Don't count the days. But make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks.